Hi, kids. It's Miss Katie. And again, you can't see me because I have something really important I want to show you today because today is Wonderful Wednesday. And wonderful starts with a letter W. And Wednesday starts with a letter W. And if you could see what I'm pointing the camera at, I'll have to get up close, but you do know about sponges, don't you? Because some of them are for cleaning things and washing dishes, and other kinds are for washing, maybe washing yourself in the tub. And they hold water because there are these little holes in the sponges all over the holes are part in the real sponges that I found down on the rocky beach. I had to wrap them in a towel and I've been collecting them all because they're so beautiful and the different colors and the shapes. I couldn't even believe I found one that looks like a heart and um, because I've been collecting hearts. They're so beautiful. I thought we'd kind of do a project and Miss Katie wrote a little song story about the sea sponges. And it's pretty interesting because they were used and written about in very ancient Greek times. Now I collected them in a towel so I could carry them up. And it's not gonna be easy to do because I'm holding the camera, but I'm gonna take the sponges out of the towel and then I thought how fun would it be to give them their first bath in a long time in the little bucket I have here they're so pretty all the different different colors oh my goodness they are something with all those little holes called ostia and that's where the water flows through and then the sponge soaks all the water up and that's why we can clean with it and then we squeeze the sponges out <laughs> yeah so some of them just like the towel i think and don't want to come out but this kitty's doing really well with her left hand it's amazing yeah, almost done. One more to go. Oh, and look at the one that, this little one that popped out that really does look like a heart. My goodness, you can't even believe all shapes and sizes. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't count on all the stickiness, but it's okay. So, these are the real sponges. These are the ones that are made of... Um, polyurethane it's a big word polyurethane and a, a scientist from Germany discovered it so what if I were to give these sponges their first little bath in a long time I can't wait to see how they're going to fill how it's going to how they're going to expand and if I could squeeze them it's going to be really interesting so I have some water here in a hose <laughs> and Miss Katie's going to make them so happy right now. And then after I give them a little bath and rinse them off with water again, guess what? These sponges are going to go back down to the shore where they belong. I mean, you could also, I could save them and use them to clean like people do and that's okay they're supposed to be nice that one looks like a really nice loofah sponge the kind that maybe people you know maybe mommy or aunts or even dads they can go to a spa sometimes and that looks like a look at how the bubbles are coming i can't believe i'm giving the sponges a bubble bath wow all right Miss Katie put her gloves on. Oh, that does feel like 
a beautiful, beautiful sponge. And you see how it's going? All the water is going through the holes and the sponge is soaking it up. Just soaking it up and I can squeeze it out just like this sponge from the store. Wow, so similar. So much the same. Let me try the blue one I have here. Okay, the reason I have gloves on is because I don't know what's inside the sponges. Um, and I was just protecting my hands. Oh, this one feels really good. This one feels like a face cloth, like a towel. Oh, I wish you were here so that you could put your fingers in. I would give you a little glove and actually feel how nice. I, I think it's really nice. Let me see if I could. Oh, this one is, they're all made of different textures. Look at that. And now look at this. Oh, and there are, all the water is staying inside. It's so cool unless I squeeze it out. Sponges are sometimes clean. Sponges are sometimes really good to play with, especially in the tub. Squeeze them out. Let's see. Drip, drip, drip. Oh, this one. This one's a nice stiff one. This would be really good for cleaning off things because, oh, I think I see a little shell inside there that's stuck. Imagine that. This is so fun. And this one, this one is a tiny baby one. See? Compared to the other ones. I think they're just like a family of sponges that were waiting for me to pick them up and make a little story out of them. And so, you can see, oh, this one, look at the shape. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine? But it does feel soft. I'm not kidding. See, I can, it holds the water, and then I squeeze it out, just like your sponges at home. This one is definitely the biggest one and I like it. Let me see if I could use it for cleaning. Oh, perfect. That's perfect, see? They, it's very useful, very useful. And just like the other sponges. So, Miss Kate's gonna let them sit and be happy. I'll pour out a little water <laughs> and then we could see more this way. And there's bubbles like you like to take your bubble bath. And then there's the little song I wrote. I wrote just for the sea sponges here. Hey, little sea sponges, washed up up upon the seashore. You traveled very far from the bottom of the sea. Did you float on the waves and decide to find me? I think so. I saw you on the seashore, nestled in the rocks. Yeah, you were nestled inside the rocks, all between and near seashells and some seagrass and by a little hermit crab that was a crawling. And then I spied some other sponges and I couldn't help but wonder, were they family or were they your friends and who came up to meet you with this bay at the bay here so i gathered all the sponges and folded them gently in a towel with a little rocks together and you made for me a very happy day and i thought well there's a song i'll have to sing about you and i'll have to study up a little bit more to find out where you came from and what you're meant for me to do with you. You can soak up so much water as you used to do in the sea. You're a little dried out now, 
but that I can do because a bowl or the tub filled with water, I'll make a bubble bath for you. We'll get along just fine, and then you can help me too. Scrubby, scrubby dub, sponges in the tub. The little ones and bigger ones will help me get things clean. Thank you, sea sponges, from the bottom of the sea. Now, I hope you found a nice new home living here with me. And I think you all just know what I mean. Thank you, sea sponges. Thank you. I'm going to take you out and put you so now we can really see how clean you are and how beautiful your shapes are with a different construction of sponges by the sea. I think it's, it's a miracle of nature and I'm so happy. All right, I'm almost done. Miss Katie's working hard with just one hand while I'm holding the camera. And how fun is that? We really cleaned them up, you know, because you could see they needed a bath because the water has some sea salt in it now. And I can just dump that out. Bye, water. And there's see some sand left. And here are the most glorious, beautiful sponges right from the sea that are natural and some of the Earth's and Mother Nature's pleasant surprises. And I almost have them all now back in and this is beautiful. Thank you for watching. And we'll say, scrubby, scrubby dub, sponges in the tub. The little ones and bigger ones will help me get things clean. Thank you, sea sponges from the bottom of the sea. Okay, everybody. This is a wonderful Wednesday. And um, another time when I do a video, maybe I'll have somebody take a video for me. And that would be so great. Okay, bye. Take care. Be good.